Ohai gozaimasu. This time I am in Hakone, still in Hakone. I am at the lake Ashi, Togendai Station. And today I am hunting for Evangelion spots. So basically Hakone is known for being this vacation spot, kind of. Like a lot of onsen, a lot of like vacation places. Among us, Weeps. It's also known for being the place where Evangelion takes place. The city where Nerf has its headquarters is called Tokyo 3 and Tokyo 3 is basically where Hakone is so a lot of places known from the anime are here. <laughs> So I just moved from the Togendai station to here, <laughs> the other side of Lake Ashi. I'm currently heading to the big tori at the lake, which is uh, the Hakone Shrine. Never been there before, looking forward to see how it is, but it's just... Hakone is beautiful. I could be homeless here and just like I would be fine with being homeless and just having this super nice view on the mountains and the lake oh, I love it so much it's perfect perfect weekend trip for me I regret I never been to Hakone before I'm, I'm, I'm just super happy right now I just finished my tour uh, through the Hakone Shrine, Hakone Jinja, and it's such a peaceful place. It's, uh, oh my god, like, it's super hot today, or maybe not super hot, but like, it's hot, but just from the moment I entered the shrine, it was like super calm, super cool, like cool in meaning of like cold. <laughs> it was such a peaceful place. Also, there was uh, this tori that was directly in the water, one of the famous spots here. 
I guess and I was I'm, I was amazed because people are lining there to get their pictures usually in Europe people would just like say uh, that they don't want to wait in line and there's like nobody who's watching it like people do it alone like they're kind of like okay everyone takes a turn we have to wait in Europe there would be so many people that would just like try to go there and take the picture without waiting because uh, yeah European people <laughs> yeah beautiful spot like if you're in Hakone you should check it out At one bakery in around uh, Lake Ashi, I found this. It was called Fujisan Pan, and meaning basically a Fuji bread, and it resembles Fuji, like with the shape, and um, and the frosting on top of the bread um, resembles the snow that is usually on Fuji. There is something brown at the top. I have no idea what it is, but there's only one way how to check. Let's give it a try. Mmm, it's uncle. It's really good, although it's a weird combination. Mm. Uncle with this kind of bread, never had it before. But the idea, the idea is nice. It's super nice. Um, the taste is pretty okay, but to be honest, nothing special. Mm. Oh, it's good. <laughs> Biggest fail today. I went extra to a place where they had the Longulus spear, the one from Evangelion. I don't want the spoiler, so I'm not gonna tell you what it was for, but I really wanted to see it. I went extra, like a really long way home to see it, but I couldn't find it. I'm in the park where it was and I couldn't find it. I asked and it was until the end of March, so it was kind of like a time exclusive exhibition which is over. <laughs> it was super misplaced because um, this park is made to resemble like a French king's garden, like a palace garden or something. It's full of roses and there's like a lot of European style architecture inside of, of this uh, park. And then just somewhere here in between there was a fucking Evangelion statue. I'm sad it's not here. I'm sad I cannot see it and I'm sad that like it was kind of like my main purpose in Hakone uh, but it was still fun. I'm still going to the Evangelion shop which is on my way home and then it's gonna be time to go home <clears throat> for real. See you in the Evangelion store. <laughs> So the Evangelion store was kind of disappointing as well. Um, basically, they have only stuff that I saw in other shops as well. I thought there might be something 
special? Well, there is one special thing, which is this ice, which is blueberry matcha ice. Um, and it's the first Evangelion ice, and let's give it a try. Mm. It's good. It has a really weird texture. Kind of like a yogurt, like a solid yogurt. But it's good, it tastes like blueberry. But it's just way too expensive. It was like 650 yen for this. Usually ice cream in Japan costs like 100 yen. Even like expensive ice cream is, is around 200 yen. I made it back to my hood. Finally, super tired, uh, happy to be at home, already a package is awaiting for me from Amazon, so I'm looking forward to it. The trip was all in all amazing, like if you have the chance to go to Hakone you should definitely do it, like it's just so close from Tokyo and it's just pure nature. There is still so much more to see, which I couldn't see because of time limitations right now. But I'm already planning to go there as soon as possible and oh my god, I will miss Rotenburo. Rotenburo was the best thing. So thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, then please like, share and comment on this video. And. See you the next time.